going to talk to you today about modifier errors. It's very easy to make mistakes when you're writing and you're brainstorming and you're really getting into the flow and you misplace a modifier and you think about it and you put it at the end of the sentence and you think, wow, that actually doesn't even modify the, the sentence or the thing I was trying to modify. And that happens a lot with adjectives and adjective clauses. So let's think of a case. I've, I'm thinking, okay, um, my, my sweater is pink. Now that's, you know, clear. I have a, on a pink sweater. But how about if I say, um, what I had on that day was um, pink and it was also soft. That's okay too. But then let's say, don't put on the sweater unless it's cold, it was pink. Well, <laughs> that's a very badly constructed sentence. Not only is the modifier misplaced, but it's also um, problematic. One that often makes sense to people is to like say something like, um, he got in trouble for putting um, some, don't put, okay, here's, this, here's one, don't put an open, door into the play. Hmm. I actually read a sentence like that once. I had no idea what it meant, but I still kind of don't. But the modifiers were, were completely mixed up. So let's talk about one. Here's one. Um, the, I wrote a letter to the newspaper that complained about rising power bills. I wrote a letter to the newspaper that complained about rising bills. It sounded like the newspaper was um, complaining about rising bills, but it's actually the letter that did. So that's a good example of something that needs to be cleaned up. Misplaced modifiers.